How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to the Pit People Beta. I'm such a huge fan of the behemoth. Alien Hominid, Castle Crashers, Battle Block Theater, they just make the craziest games. I've been excited for this one for so long and when I announced that it was going to be like this turn-based tactics game, I was like, that is really seems different from what they've made in the past, but I'm so excited to see their unique spin on it. I just love the behemoth so much and I'm so thankful to them for sending me a beta key. That's fucking awesome. I'm so excited. I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's like dive right into this. Let's, I'm gonna go with the orange slot right in the middle because I like orange and no other reason than that really. Welcome to the beta. The game is currently not finished yet. It's everyone, I want everyone to keep that in mind throughout this. The story will be incomplete past a certain point. Game saves will not carry over to the full version. That's more for my own sake, I suppose. Some parts of this game, including Steam features, might not function as expected. The game might even crash. So everyone just be aware, if there's any major glitches or anything, we're in beta. This is the warning for me as well as you. Everyone please keep that in mind. Oh man, I just fucking love the behemoth and I just love Dan Paladin. <laughs> I like that you guys can see my Steam profile picture there. I hope at least a few people know what that's from. I just realized I may have gotten a little too excited and I completely forgot to set up my noise buffering pillow here, so I'm sorry if it was echoey for the first minute or two. But I hope at least a couple of you guys know what that's from. Please comment down below if you know, because I would, I would love to know that at least someone knows what the hell that is. Oh my god, I'm just so happy right now. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just dive right into everything. There is a co-op mode. I don't totally know how it works. I'm definitely gonna be doing a handful of solo episodes by myself, and I'm gonna upload like several all today just to get as much of this game out there as quickly as possible and somewhere down the line it would be totally awesome to try and do the co-op thing they explained that the way it works uh they explained that the way it's going to work is that once you've played co-op with someone else you'll have access to their team as like ghost characters or something like that later on down the line so it's totally worth it to play co-op at least once so i definitely want to mess around with that so i'm going to be on the lookout for other people playing this game the behemoth even like scheduled a certain time that they recommend everyone play at, so it's easier to find. Ooh, here's here's Stampers. I don't want to talk over him. Transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos. I just feel like I'm doing a reaction video. The world was more hospitable, no doubt, more orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring, and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms. Yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Speaking of which... Lots of you guys probably recognize Stamper's voice from Battle Block Theater. It's the, it's the exact same see. guy. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and oh, the giant most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? <laughs> Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands. Hmm? Oh shit, well, that's a, a nice ton of guys. Horatio, not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting! To die. Not for you, of course. <laughs> Is, is that Stamper doing that, like, Simlish talk as well? Jerkimedes. Alright guys, here's the juicy family I told you about. Holy shit, what is it raining? I just realized it's got green rain. Quick, the storm's coming. Is that, is that all the bear's blood from where he bashed in the side of the fucking... What is going on in this world? It seems like they just decided, hey, let's make a turn-based tactics game, but then let's just, like, make it as fucking insane and over-the-top as possible, and I love it. I'm a big fan of that attitude. Kill the farmer, eat- oh, the child eater. <laughs> Kill the farmer, eat the children, take the house. Ooh, you better- you better run for it, little tot. Yeah, get the hell out of there. You're- you're first on the cutting block here. What? You stay away from my family. Brave, brave Horatio, using his white picket fence as a shield. This is a turn-based adventure game. Just tell Horatio where to go. Into the house. Run away. Get out of there, Horatio. <laughs> We're not even in a pit yet. Okay. How far can I move? I can only move a little bit. Go straight into the house. Just run the fuck away. Hold the end turn. Mm, undo. What if I... Mm, none of this looks like I can really do much. No, I, I want to I wanna go hide out by the house. Do I just double-click? How do, how do I, like... 
I guess I just hold enter. Okay, yeah, I, I was wondering, you must you must direct all of your characters at once and then everyone does everything at the same time? That's me kind of guessing. Shields are great for blocking arrows. The heavier the shield, the more arrows you'll block. Uh, there's quite a bit's going to get through my little slotted guy here, I think. Yeah, so everyone moves at the same time. So that's kind of interesting. That's different. What the fuck? Oh my god, Horatio, no! This is terrible! How much health do you have? That was so much hit points. I guess I guess I have a shitload of health. I really should have assumed that I was not going to have enough health to fucking win this battle though. Like he's not going to single-handedly be able to take on all these people. Is Dimples? Is this guy's name Dimples? I want to check everyone's name. Chad. <laughs> Everyone no one likes a Chad, right? Chads are always kind of dickheads. Chad and Brad. Delight morsel. Jerk, oh, jerk would be easy. I already saw him. Who else? Who else we got? Your knife baby. <laughs> I like knife baby. Gravy train. Taste tester. Oh man, these are these names are way greater than anything I would have came up with. Ankle biter. All right, I gotta I gotta kill someone. Uh, come on. How do I? Can I not attack? Do I need to like get? Maybe I just have to get close to him before I can start attacking. Oh, you automatically do. You automatically attack someone you're next to. I'm not totally certain how that worked. Look out, the bear blood is getting worse. That is bear blood. It's a green fucking bear blood that's raining down. Oh, nice. It wiped everyone out. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, his son. I completely forgot about his son. I was too busy laughing at Stamper's fucking dumb butterfingers line to realize that he just lost his son. That's brutal. Positioning determines your target. Oh, so uh, you can see when he's in the middle there, when he's between the two guys, there's a question mark over his head, so maybe it'll be uncertain who he actually attacks there. Wow, I just remembered, I gotta be someplace. Is Jerkomedes gonna run away? Jerkomedes just fucked off. I was just joking about eating your delicious child. You better have been, he just fucking died. That's like... You don't want to joke about stuff like that. The wound is too fresh. Whatever your name was. Child Eater, right. <laughs> forgot forgot how literal his name was. The wound's too fresh. You don't want to be joking about that sort of shit. I wish there was just like a button on screen that I could click. Maybe I can. Maybe I can just click the, uh, the end turn prompt there because switching... Switching mouse space, to enter is kind of weird. Oh, okay, I get to just move around now. I think Horatio is quite handsome. And I don't know who that angel was. Was that angel, like, my son's or something? Because that's really sad. It's funny, it's funny to come from Battle Block Theater where, you know, Dan would have had to have made all the different blocks, types and everything, and now he, he switched to like a hexagon style thing where, you know, I don't know, it's, it's just interesting to see him go from block style platforming game to like a hexagon based game. I don't know why that is funny or interesting to me. I hope you guys know where I'm coming from because I'm doing such a terrible job of explaining what I mean by that. Oh, fuck! I thought I was going to be able to rescue her or like she would join my team or something, but nope, she just got obliterated by some big ball of bear blood. Oh shit. I wonder if I can get hurt or anything in this area. Are they like giving me coins? Is that what is happening when I get the little coin pings? She looks hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. No, you shared your berries. How generous of you. Her name was Is he arguing with the narrator? He doesn't like that. You see her castle was raided by grumpy warriors and she doesn't His castle was crashed. my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. I can't I can't I can't pop my peas like that. Oh, so the beautiful the beautiful lady has joined my uh, joined my army here. The Helmetor. You're too late, princess. Pip Pipstrella. Pipistrella. Stay away from my father. Oh, let's let's bash our shit together there. Told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. 
His like his sassy, snarky narrating is so similar to what he had in Battle Block Theater, telling you you're like stupid and stuff. I love it. Here, Pip, catch. Maybe this takes place in the same world as Battle Block Theater in some weird way. There's gonna be some weird bit of continuity that happens there. Incomplete cutscene? Either that or it's intentionally looking like that? Because it seems like it wouldn't have been that hard to fill in like those one or two pictures. It's a little weird that that is in an incomplete like storyboard stage like that. Maybe that's all it was supposed to be. Swords are weak against helmets, mallets get bonus damage against helmets. So that's gonna be like a weird thing to keep an eye on. It's not just like armored people versus not armored people, it's specifically helmets. I, okay, I guess most people are kind of like bare-chested and everything when you look at it, or at the very least they just don't have very heavy armor, they're just wearing like cloth armor or something. So I want to see if I go between these guys, if it just attacks one or the other, or if she attacks both? Because that would be interesting. I... oh, I can't cross. Thumbs down. Oh, the thumbs up, it's not just saying that I'll attack them, it's that I have like a weakness against them. I'm not going to do much damage. I don't think I can cross that pit, so I guess the best I can do is just head over and try and help Pippa, Pippistrella? Okay, so he just attacks one or the other then. I guess you don't really get to decide. I wonder if the game will do some sort of smart... Oh, fuck. I wonder if the game will have some kind of smart targeting where it'll decide whoever's stronger or already who you're more likely to kill or who you have a, a damage bonus against. Just knocked my mug over. You can move all your fighters before ending your turn. Yeah, okay, I think I, I think I knew this. How do I... Okay, tab. Tab lets you switch characters, I pretty much assumed so. You, you can just stay right where you are, you might as well. And I guess, I guess Horatio might as well too. Uh, it seems like she just kind of bashed whoever there, because she probably very easily could have killed that guy, whereas, you know, she only did some, like, not quite as much to that guy, so it seems like you you got to worry about your placement quite a bit here, so that you don't end up wasting your turn like that. You can move all your fighters. I can't, I can't put her in any better of a position, though, so I guess I just got to stick it out this way. Hopefully they can kill one of these guys on like the next turn here rather than continually sustaining damage. Is this just a reminder at the bottom here, the helmet and sword thing? I guess it's still kind of like tutorial-ish right now, so it just wants to keep me up to date on that sort of shit. Uh, let's... You can finish off pretty much any one of those people, so let's... Let's switch to Horatio and get him to help... Help over there. Whoops. Oh man, you're really weak against those. Like you, I didn't realize he was doing like so so little. I think we gotta run. These these guys back here, they're like sweating and stuff. That's kind of weird. But I think we just gotta bail because this is not going well at all. Maybe I think. Uh, let me see. I think Horatio has more health right now, so I I think I want to run Pipistrilla and Pipist. Pipistrella. I want to run her in there and have Horatio defend her if possible, if that's how that's actually going to work. Yeah. What a good guy Horatio is. They can shoot arrows a long, a long goddamn way though. How do I... I can't tell if uh, that's only as far as I need to go. How do I like properly save her dad? Oh, fuck. I, I hope there's not some kind of permadeath in like this tutorial here, because this isn't this isn't going too well for me. There we go, we knocked knocked that guy off. These guys can still Okay. Good. That's all I needed to do. I need to take out those guys. So you soft skulls killed a few of my helmetites. We've done enough here. The castle's destroyed. Mission success. We need extraction. Over. He's not talking on a radio or anything. Wait, this isn't over yet, cowards! Job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, uh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset? The bear's just some omniscient being that just has access to everything? He just fucking gave them a space shuttle? Okay, so I guess these cutscenes are just kind of like in storyboard form still. I'm, I'm surprised, but I guess that makes sense for that to be a pretty, like, light, late thing to add into a game, you know? You've got to worry about gameplay and functionality and everything first before you worry about cutscenes.
Oh, your heart is broken. Pipistrella, so sad. All right, well, you know what, guys? With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless. And what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio. So much, in fact, that he immediately forgot about his son and hey. his home and... Where are you got it? Yes, you did. How did you wait there? Where I are see. It? Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city. The perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread. <laughs> I love cornbread. I feel like Stamper's character here is, like, controlling the story. You know, he, he delivered the spaceship and stuff like that, but he's also, like, telling characters how to think and feel and stuff, even if they disagree with it. So this is, like, his story. He's controlling the pieces. Maybe that's... Maybe the world is, like, a game board, and he's, like, manipulating everyone and everything. That seems to almost be how things are playing out here. That's, like, a big leap of logic for me to take, but that seems to be how it's playing out. So now that the little narrating is done, let me <laughs> try and redo that outro here. Next time, guys, I'm going to keep adventuring onwards. I'm going to play through as much of this beta as possible. I, I, I want to complete, like, as much of the story as there is available, and after that, I'm going to switch over and play around with the co-op stuff. I might try and switch and do the co-op stuff even sooner, but I've just been waiting for this game for so long, and I'm just so excited to just dig into it. So expect lots of Pit People content for the next little while, because I want to explore it as much as possible and share it with you guys as much as possible. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. I just had a, I just had an idea. I don't know if there's going to be the option to like name characters as they join your your company and stuff, and if that is at all a thing, I want you guys to pick the name. For one, so please leave a comment down below of what you think I should name one of my characters, and hopefully, if I see it in time, then I'll be able to pick one of your one of the options that you give me, and I'll name one of my characters that. So leave that, leave your suggestions for that down below, because I hope you guys can come up with something super funny. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.